Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I am going to really quickly be going through the different types of web hosting and explaining each of them. Now, just like there are different types of web hosting, there are also different types of web hosts, with some serving their customer better and worse than others. So if you are in the market for a web host and you want to check out a really good web host, I have one of my favorite web hosts of all time linked in the description, which also offers a wide variety of plans, which are mentioned in this video. And now let's go ahead and get started and get right into the content. Now the first hosting type is shared hosting. Essentially shared hosting is the cheapest and most popular form of web hosting around today. It is very suitable for small businesses and personal websites. Essentially all they do is they take one server and they divide it up among a multitude of people. So a bunch of different people can have a share of that server and a share of the resources. Now the resources are not allocated per thing, it's more of a shared collective amount of resources, so if someone else's website is really busy, yours might be a bit slower at that time. But the beauty of shared hosting is the prices are incredible, sometimes even getting down to around $1 a month, which is just insane, and shared hosting is definitely one of the best services, especially for smaller scale projects. Next up there is specialized shared hosting, which is essentially like WordPress hosting or Joomla hosting or even Drupal hosting. All of these hostings are shared hosting, but they're specialized, which means you're only going to have one type of website on the entire server. So let's say you have a server and it's holding your website. Let's say your website is built on WordPress and you're on a WordPress hosting plan, then every other website on that server actually is on WordPress as well. Essentially, this just tries to make it higher performance for your website and make it perform and run even better. Next up, we have VPS, which is a virtual private server. Server, essentially it's one step up from shared hosting. You can think of it as having a dedicated amount of resources on the server no matter if you use them or not. Let's say you buy a virtual private server with two gigs of RAM but you're only using one gig of RAM you're still gonna have that second one available at any point in time. Next up we have dedicated server hosting. Now what dedicated server hosting is is it's essentially a virtual private server but it's not virtual and it's an actual server. You will basically have your very own server in whichever database and area this is stored in. Essentially, it just means that you will get an entire server dedicated for your own use. Next up, we have cloud hosting, which is basically a vast network of different computers who are all kind of chain linked together. So your website will never go offline because all of the servers are hosting it at once and simultaneously. Finally, there is managed hosting, which is not actually a different type of hosting, but it's just an extra add-on to many of the different types of hosting I have mentioned previously. Managed hosting is essentially just where some of the features and requirements are automated for you, like automatic backups, automated updates, and automatic security. Those have been the different types of web hosting explained though. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Remember, I have a link in the description if you are in the market for a really good hosting provider. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.